Hi guys, it's Kadzai here. Today I will be talking about managing your money and finances in this cost of living. You guys already know being a uni student is already a very difficult task. So um, having this independence of managing your finances is just another responsibility that you have to take on when you finally start university. So today, so today I'm going to be giving you guys ways that can help you manage your money and finances at uni. I'm going to be giving you tips and tricks that you can use to utilise your money. I'm going to be telling you guys freebies that you can access. Um, so yeah, let's get going. The first thing that I would always recommend is getting yourself a student bank account set up. So when you um, apply for uni, um, you have the option to actually, if you don't have a bank account, apply for a bank account. Um, if you already have an existing uh, bank account, see if your bank provider um, provides a student bank account. The reason why I recommend these is because there is so much perks, so much perks that come with them. For example, some of them have free roll cards for a year. You guys know train prices are expensive. You know, that free roll card will help you. Some of them have um, a joining uh um, amount that you can get for example some will give you 200 pounds for joining um, another good 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 perks is um, the overdraft limit for example in normal banks you might you might be charged a fee if you go into overdraft but with a student um, account some overdrafts go up to 1000 pounds 1.5 and 2000 pounds and that is with zero fees attached. So I would definitely recommend a student bank account because when you need that overdraft, you're gonna need it with zero fees attached to it. Number two, I would say budget, 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 budget. As in, um, if you apply for a student loan, you already know the government is gonna give you a maintenance loan. Um, once this loan hits your bank account, make sure you make a budget sheet. The easiest way I do is um, I just go on the internet and I look for um, budgeting sheets and I literally copy and paste them onto Word and I just apply my spending and everything that I am gonna be needing to the sheet and I break down my finances. I plan ahead how much I'm gonna be spending on food, how much I'm gonna be spending on transportation, how much I'm gonna be spending on miscellaneous activities, having fun, going out. Make that budget sheet because it will hold you accountable so that you're just, your money is just not in the air lingering around. Make your budget sheet. Number three, I would say always pay your rent first. You know, number one priority, make sure that the roof you're staying under is covered. You know, don't be the person whose tenants are chasing them around, asking you for rent. You know, we don't want anyone to get evicted. Always pay your rent first before you do anything else. Another trick and another hint is instead of paying for your own gym membership, utilize your uni facilities. A lot of unis have free sport teams that you can join. These are usually... um advertised at the beginning of the calendar no at the beginning of the academic year go to a fair see if there's a sport that you like go join the sport you know it's free rather than paying um outside a um sport organization use the ones that are in your uni as they will be free of charge um you can show up whenever you want to show up utilize your university gym this should be free if it's not free, it shouldn't be too expensive. Um, as local gyms, you know, it is a very, 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 very big commitment paying for a monthly gym membership. Sometimes you're not gonna feel like showing up. Sometimes you're gonna go weeks without going to the gym and the money's still coming out. So make sure you utilize the free sport societies, free gyms, free membership that your uni university is offering you because your university will be offering those facilities for free. Another tip, download Uni Days. Uni Days is an app that um, allows you to basically get student discount on a lot of big brands. Boohoo, Pretty Little Thing, Nike, Adidas, all of them. 
get your student discount it might be as low as 10 percent five percent but guess what saving money saving money right so go download uni days the moment you start university and utilize your student discount throughout every time you want to purchase something in store and online always make sure if um you can go on uni days and if uni day offers it um and there's a discount code you better go and get the discount code another thing that i would definitely recommend to save your money is meal prepping as long as meal prepping gets sometimes if you just dedicate um those couple of hours once a week to meal prepping it saves you so much money you'll be less tempted to eat out because eating out it costs money it costs a lot of money to be eating out so if you have meal preps for the week you know okay there's food at home let me not eat out let me just go home and eat the food that i've already prepped so meal prep always at the start of the week i would always recommend sunday you know sunday's a lazy day it's a chill day you know i feel like it's the perfect day to do stuff like laundry and meal prep go meal prep so that you're not eating out every time you leave the house last but not least um is transportation avoid getting ubers everywhere you know there's scooters e-scooters are they called e-scooters i'm not too sure there's scooters that you can rent they're like two pounds ride a bike even invest in a bike so that you don't even have to pay for transport like with me i walk everywhere i literally walk everywhere i walk to work sometimes i even walk to uni walk everywhere stop paying for uber because that six pounds adds up in the moment it seems very small but over time the money does add up so don't be caught in a very 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 bad habit where you literally just get the uber everywhere use public transport where you can even get a student bus card um for example some universities offer them at discounted prices so you can actually get an annual bus card for the city that you're in see if your uni offers that and if that is an option i would definitely recommend it because in the long in the long run long run you will be um saving more money whereas that is everything from me guys hopefully these um tips will help you guys um become more money aware I hope that you know you will not be struggling financially at uni because cost of living is real so let's all try and do our best to you know just learn how to survive with it see you guys later